Hey guys, it's me. If you're wondering why I'm covering one eye, it's because it's not done. I'm going to film this eye look for you guys right here. Um, it's featuring the Kat Von D Monarch Palette. I believe this is the Monarch Palette. Pretty sure. Yes. Anyways, it's the palette that looks like this. And in the center of my lid, I have two foiled Makeup Geek shadows. And my transition color is... Peach Smoothie and um, Creme Brulee. So I'm just mixing those two colors and I'm going to put those all over in my crease as my transition shade. Um, yeah, let's just get right into this video. Sometimes I buy palettes and then they sit in my drawer and I never like use them and I forgot how much I loved this orange shade in the Monarch palette because it's just so pretty. I'm really attracted to colors like that, like oranges and like burnt colors. I guess you could say neutrals. But yeah, it's really pretty. Okay, so that's my transition color. And I'm not being really too precise with it. I'm just kind of slapping it on there. And then I'm going to um, go in with a smaller brush. This is an It Cosmetics brush. And then I'm going to take that shadow. And it is called Wrath. Wait, no, it's not. It is called Wrath. Hmm. Yeah, this, call, this shadow right here, it's called Wrath. So I'm going to take this shadow on my It Cosmetics blending crease brush. And I'm going to... Be very, how do you say, generous with this color. And I'm bringing it, oh no, I already mucked up and had too much fallout. Okay, I fixed it. I didn't tap off the excess too good. And I'm bringing it up about a third on the corner of my lid as well as well as my crease and out here on my outer corner I'm going about I'm bringing it way out and I'm bringing it way up and then I'm going to bring it and just keep kind of blending it out And I'm going to bring a smaller brush. This one's an e.l.f. Um, contour brush. And it's just a little bit more small and com compact. So I can handle it better. And I'm going to bring that orange color on my inner corner. On my lid. About a third of the way up as well. I'm not bringing it way up there. I'm just packing that color on. So that it's nice and orange. And I'm going to bring that orange color to meet the color right there. And then I'm going to come back with that Is Co it Cosmetics brush. And marry the two sides together. I really want to get that orange on this outer corner, so I'm just kind of packing it on there. <clears throat> and... Blending it out. And using windshield white shirt wiper motions. I can't talk, obviously. I'm like shmush mush 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 mush. Windshield wiper motions to just kind of get that in there. See how bright and like I mean I love it. And then I'm gonna use that elf brush again and I'm gonna do the same thing to the um bottom lash line. And I'm not being precise at all. I'm just getting it on there. So that the orange is nice and burnt and um, smudged out on that lower lash line. I need it to stand up to these lashes that I'm wearing today. Stand up and say, yes I can. Okay, so I got that on there. I'm going to take this brush and I'm just going to kind of... Smooth out those edges. Then I'm going to take um, Untamed by Makeup Geek. 
And I'm going to put that on the center of my lid on top. And I'm just using my finger because with these um, Makeup Geek shadows, you need to be able to like pack it on so it looks foiled and shiny and legit. And there it is. And then I'm going to take the Fortune Teller. And this color is a little bit more bright. It's yellow, gold. And I'm going to take some of that and I'm going to pat it right on top of that copper color I just used. On the very center to make that really pop. And then I'm going to go in with my Cosmetics brush and I'm just going to kind of... Blend that in there. I see like a black spot. What is that? I think I got black on my finger from that makeup geek. You guys see that spot right there? Yeah. What the deuce, man? What the deuce? So I'm gonna go and fix that. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm taking a little bit of those two foiled shadows and I'm gonna put it on the very center on the bottom of my lash line. And this is just so that you could kind of mimic the top of what's going on on the top. I want to be able to, like, I just want it to pop a little bit more. So I'm just going to do that. And then I'm going to take a brown liner pencil. You could take any liner that you have, and I'm just going to line my waterline. Okay, now that I got the brown in the waterline, I'm not using black because it just looked a little too harsh. I'm going to use my Better Than Sex Mascara by Too Faced. And I'm going to put a coat on my top and bottom lashes. I'll be right back. And then I'm going to put on these lashes. I believe these are... I don't even know which lashes these are. But I'll put it in the description box. They're just really pretty thick lashes. I bought these at Ulta. I think it's um, those number 101 lashes. I'm not sure what they're called. But I'll put the description button down below. But I'll be right back after I pop on the lashes. Okay, so I got the lashes on. I'm going to take a small brush. Um, this one is an, an Eco Tools brush. And I'm going to take this palette again. I'm going to take this color right here. It's called Etymology. And I'm going to take this. It's just like a cream color with a little bit of sparkle. And I'm going to put this in my inner corner just for like an inner corner highlight. Um, it's not nothing too big. But I really want the center of my lid to stand out. So I'm going to kind of... Just brighten up that inner corner just a little. And that is all I'm going to do with the look. And that completes it. And the only thing that I put on my lips is this Rimmel Show Off Lip Lacquer. And this is in the color Nude Eclipse. It looks like this. And then I lined my lips with a nude pencil. And then after I got them all on, I just thought it was a little light. So I went with my eyeliner with this brown color over the lip liner and just kind of like darkened up the corners and but you could totally scratch it out. You could go with the nude if you want to go with just the nude color and if you don't like it you just go right back over. To lighten it back up. No big deal. But yeah, I hope you guys like this look, and here is the final eye look. Hope you guys enjoyed and rocked this look somewhere. I don't even know where you would rock this look at. I wear makeup like this every day, so I'm just going to rock this to the store because I have to go get some groceries real quick, and yeah. Yeah, I'll see you guys later. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!